Hey YouTube, it's Richard. This is going to be my second video I'm putting out. This will be a informational video on supplies we'll need to start doing a mold. So I'm going to go through a bunch of different things here that you will uh, want to acquire before you do this, what to expect from some things, and the video after this one is going to be actually uh, me going through the steps of preparing a mold. Um, so I'm going to jump into this real quick. So first thing you'll need is what you want to make a mold of. Um, me, I'm not really too artistic really, so I actually uh, am using what's out there on the market already, you know, different figures, different, um, you know, you can do anything you want really. Um, so what I've actually done is, if this doesn't look familiar, this is the Bicycle Girl from uh, season one of The Walking Dead, my favorite TV show out there right now. If you don't know it, you should go watch it right now. Stop this video immediately. Open up a new tab, new window, however you want to do it. TV, Netflix, go to Best Buy and buy it. That's uh, either way it's happy with me. But go watch it though. Uh, so, anyways, this is uh, the bicycle girl from there. I have actually encased it in clay. The clay itself is non hardening, so I'd spin, I can still you know, tear a nice chunk off of it however I want. And it's been, I've had the same piece of clay for months and months and months. Um, so, it does really well. Um, the mold I got from Hastings, or not the mold, hello, the figure I got from Hastings, a couple bucks. The clay comes in a big old nice uh, block of it for eight or nine, eight or nine dollars. So it's not too terribly bad, especially if you get to use it as long as you do. It's really not bad at all. The only thing is it gets a little dirty, but that hasn't really affected me just yet. But we'll see what happens later. Um, so once you have what you want. And I'll explain them to detail in the next videos why this is a um, wine and clay. Uh, next thing you'll need is what you're going to make uh, this up your rubber or your latex. This is what I have. It is a liquid latex rubber. I bought it from Hobby Lobby. That's our. That's where I go for all my stuff. It's the best thing we have here in town. Uh, this was seventeen dollars. This lasts me. Give or take two, three months, and that was one, about five or six molds. Uh, but I tend to kind of overuse it, but that's not a bad thing either, really. Uh, the next video, I'm going to go into detail on how to use this stuff. What you'll need for this, though, is going to be, of course, this. And then brushes of any size, sort, you know, whatever it may be. This one's all crusty because it actually has some of the latex rubber stuck on there. This is the one I always use. Uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of sculpting and uh, sh you know, shaping and crafting of the clay itself, excuse me, um, you can get clay uh, instruments to mold and craft the clay however you want. I'm trying to get more into this myself, so that's why I have these. I haven't quite used them so much yet. Uh, something else I've actually used quite a bunch of: an Exacto knife. This guy's my like my best friend, so. I recommend these for whatever you're going to do, an exact knife. When doing your, uh, when you start the latex process and the resin and everything else, something that you'll want to get that I recommend is this stuff here. You really can't see the name, but this is a mold release agent. Uh, it helps the clay and the latex and the resin not stick so you get better, uh, how do I say it? You just get better quality from it. It peels off easier, doesn't stick, you're not tearing anything, nothing's getting cracked or stuck, so this is real good stuff. Uh, I've only used this a handful of times, so you can tell the bottle's still full. Shake it, get the liquid in there. There we go. 11 bucks, a little pricey, but again, for how often you use it and um, how long you're going to keep it around the house, it's going to be a good deal. Hobby Lobby again. So for the casting process, what I have here is the Amazing Casting Resin. This was $20. It's gotten me, one about, again, another five or six casts out of it. One of them a rather big project, which took most of this, actually. Another video at the time. But this stuff's actually been pretty good. Um, down the road, whenever you start getting really, when you do this a lot more and everything, you're going to want to buy from the big suppliers online. Um, there's tons of them out there. I'll provide links later on next in a couple videos, but this one, again, Hobby Lobby picked it up. It comes with some cups to mix it with, some popsicle sticks, everything you need. 
and uh, so far I've been happy with this stuff. There are some separate things you can buy that make the cast a different color. This one comes out pure white. Other ones, you can you know, get it gray, green, red. I don't have those yet, haven't messed with them, but I'm excited to soon. So there's that. And then, let me see, I'm forgetting a couple things. One of them. Got the project going. So I have a desk that I work on. It's just a desk I actually was able to get from work. Uh, I do my homework on here as well, too, so I really don't junk it up too much yet. So I get these little foam boards. Um, this was $5. It actually came with two. It's a... And they come folded up too, so it's a 15 by 20. When you unfold it, it's a 30 by 20. I cut this thing in half because I only need half of it. Um, I put all my figures and clay and everything on top and just work from there. Uh, this pretty good stuff actually. It's not bad. Uh, you can use this for you know crafting little things too. Um, some tutorials online, you'll see some people use things like this for uh, sword making, things like that. That's another project in the future. But um, just kind of a Nice little surface to work on if you don't get anything ever dirty. And then... I think that's it. Let me double check, because this is like the third time I made this video because I forgot other stuff. So I'm gonna double check everything. Oh, yes, of course, duh. Paint. Don't know how I forgot that. Uh, paint, there's all different kinds out there. Um, the crafting paints, I guess they work. I'm not too much on painting either. Again, not too artistic, but a learning process. I learn, I teach you, I help you. Open to ideas as well. Lots of ideas. Always open to uh, comments, feedback, everything. Everything helps out. It's a give and take kind of deal. Um, but any kind of paint you can get. I've only had to buy this tube. The rest of them I actually was able to steal from home, which is great. Um, paints couple dollars. Nothing bad at all. Um, let me double check now. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I actually think that's it. That's great. So, um, oh, do I have it? Next video I will show you what I'm trying to find right now. Uh, I'm to have to reprint this stuff out, but something really fun. Um, I'll provide links to it in the next video as well. So, but this concludes my second video. Uh, the next one going up, I'm going to be showing you how to do a one-sided mold of the said bicycle girl. And uh, try to get a little detail for you. And I really do it. Um, again, any comments, feedback, anything like that you can provide, I'll always leave it down. I think at the bottom is where these things go. Oh, battery's low. Uh, I think they go at the bottom. And, yeah. That works. So, I'll be seeing y'all again soon. Bye, YouTube.